Welcome to another late night edition of King's Quest 2 VGA with Vialier. Um, some of you may remember the last time I called a late night with Vialier LP. That it means I've taken my bedtime medicines, which include Ambien, Amitripoline, Tylenol PM, um, muscle relaxers, um, Ambien. I'm sure you all want to know my prescription history, but I am very open to that question. I really don't care who I tell. But in the last episode, we watched me die a lot, and I'm sure you all laughed at my expense. And we saw all the deaths from the choices from that the Door of Destiny gave us now that we finally have the three gems. And there was one we didn't go to, because it's the correct one. Correct one's more fun to save for last. Kind of wish I would have done that with the one I had earlier, which I'm currently forgetting what that is, but I believe I promised a death video later. Oh yeah, it's a cloud. Okay, so let's go to the Tower Realm. Oh, what, what, what's this? Trippy. The sand on the sparkling beach is a deep blue. The blazing light from the topaz sky dances across it. Cliffs tower above the beach. I saw fish. Although the water looks calm on the surface, there are dangerous undercurrents at work here. Hmm. Okay. Pink waterfall. Magenta water gushes from an opening in the cliff face, like strawberry wine being poured from a cask. It's pink. Magenta does not exist for us guys. Okay. Got it. Okay. Um, just so we don't have to go through the door of destiny again, because I'm sure you all really want to hear that again. We will replace our door, formerly Dute file, with. Ooh, type the fume to me there. Don't know how that happened. Okay, so we are here. There seems to be a path up here, but um, they are. I'm really not too sure. Maybe there's something over here. You thought the mountainside in Kalima was unclimbable. That would seem easy now in comparison to climbing this. They are too heavy. Well, I guess let's try to go up. I don't wanna. Oops. You attempt to remain afloat in the unusual water. However, due to its salt content and strong undercurrent, you sink. And sink. And sink. Yeah, once again, I knew that would happen. The undercurrent pulls you under. The last thing you see are your hopes rising to the surface. It's not so much that I wanted to skip the door, Destiny, for your sake. I wanted to do it for mine because I had to sit through all of them for all of the different answers. And I had actually started this video before and I got here and I decided to spare you the talk of the um, Door of Destiny again. And I am actually not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, I know there's something with the fish, but... Ooh, wait, I know. In the original game, you got this here. the net into the tranquil sea. Upon retrieving, you see that you have caught a large golden fish. It falls from the net and flops helplessly on the beach. Poor fish. That doesn't look too... The large fish is covered with shimmering golden scales. Its graceful fins and tail are almost translucent. Right now, the beautiful fish is writhing in agony. No. Oh, well, let's not make Peter get this this time. Fish. Its mouth is wide open and its gills are extended. With great difficulty, you hold the fish as it twists and turns in your hands. You toss the fish back into the tranquil sea. Thank you for not killing me. For your kindness, I will gladly take you across to the other side of this vast sea. Cool! He's helping us even though we could have easily let him die. 
That's not kindness. That's us being not hungry. You carefully lower yourself down the steep embankment and slide under the fish's scaly back. You hold on tight as the fish swims far out to sea. Swimming a fish. We're on a fish. We're on a fish. Take a good hard look at this motherfucking fish. I'm sorry for that. I had to. I had to. I didn't get to do the whole one before. You slide off the fish's back and clamber onto the sandy shore of a surreal little island. Well, I will admit that I am not too familiar with the end game here, and this is the end game. I know parts of it just from memory of the original when I was younger, but that doesn't help when they've added new things. I've played through this maybe once, and I'm just not too sure right now. So, we may be... Ooh, tower. Is there a girl in it? Eh, better be a girl in that tower. Twin lion statues are situated on either side of the door. It almost looks like they are guarding the entrance. Ooh. Twin lion... Let's save in case they decide to, you know, come to life. <laughs> um... Oh, the hell? A disc-like indentation has been carved into the door. It appears as if something is supposed to be placed there. Hmm. I don't know if we have a disc. I mean, we have the chakram. It's a chakram, right? This odd circular device intrigues you. It depicts several different symbols around its outer rim. The sun, a mountain range, a drop of water, and a cloud. Hmm. The circular gold object fits perfectly into the door's outer rim. The center of the door is hollow, about the size of a small stone. A golden disc now sits in the outer ring of the wooden door. Um, well, maybe we need something else. Let's see. Um, okay, exploring! I don't know, I wonder if there's... Oh, what's that? No, seriously, what was that? It looked like something we could exploit. You know, rock. A check closer it. examination of the rocks confirms that they are indeed made of quartz. Isn't quartz valuable? I think that goes into rings and shit. Why can't we just, like, take that home or something? Okay. What else is on it? Oh, is that another rock? A closer examination. Yep, just another rock. That rock's colorful, though. A closer examine. Nope. Um... I know they don't render this unwinnable. I'm assuming they don't render it unwinnable. But what are we to do? Um... Oh, well, it is a beach. Anything really strike out as weird? Now, well, there's... This is kind of a light patch, or maybe that's just my monitor. This sand patch has a unique color. Hmm. What do we do with sand patches? Guybrush? You hold your finger up in the air. You feel no wind, not even the slightest breeze. This is very strange indeed. Hmm, maybe we should... Dig. We don't have a shovel anymore. Where's our shovel? Did our shovel break? Brandishing your sword. <coughs> you hold your you hold. Maybe if we walk on it. Oh, hello. Some writer has appeared in the sand. It reads It would appear that you, my dear, are here indeed to help me. Walk to this sand and place your hand upon these words, and you'll see. Okay. You place your palm upon the words in the sand. Oh, uh, I don't like that. 
I don't like when portals open under us and apparently come out over there. Well, this doesn't look much better. Notice some more writing in the sand near the portal. It reads, You may return, but cause to learn a way to flee this cursed place. My end draws near, so hurry, dear, and come swift to me in haste. What does she mean escape? Let's see. I could make a portal reference, but I can't really think of one right now. It's made of quartz. Pick up the beautiful stone of quartz. Okay. Oh, there's this giant thing is this thing of sand over here. Words. A year on, three symbols are depicted in the sand. Perhaps each one represents an action that must be performed in order to establish an escape route from this strange place. Coconut, water, pour coconut on words. Okay. Well then, all we need is a coconut. And water. I hope they don't mean like purple water. Purple water would be all nasty. Well, I guess we should look for more light patches. I really don't know this part, as I said. Anything over here? No. Up here? Um, no, I don't see anything. Well, let's look at this quartz we got. Maybe it's special. The beauty of the quartz stone is truly remarkable. I wonder if that'll fit in the door. In that hollow spot in the center. It's crazy enough to work. Welcome to King's Quest 2! Where everything's crazy enough to work. Will it? Will it? Will it? Oh my god, he's going to insert the quartz stone into the hollow. You hear it lock into place. Suddenly, the statues rumble to life. God. Um. Let's save. Always hated this puzzle. A few other games in Sierra Lines that have it, and probably a few other games elsewhere, but I know Castle of Dr. Brain did. I don't think I'll be doing an LP of that one. If you were to ask my companion if he knows the way through this door, he would answer, No. The first gave birth to all life, the second allows it to thrive. The third sustains all that wonder it. The fourth will once a day hide. Okay. Let's see if I can get this. He said, the guy on the right, left, says that the guy on the right would say no. And he, the guy on the right says, I keep trying to point with a spoon in my hand. Um guy on the right says that the one on the left would say yes. So, that brings a question. 
he says if he's lying, then he would say no. That would be a lie, though. Oh, wait. He's, if he's lying on the right, then he would say no. And that would mean the one on the right would say yes. Um, you know what? I'm just going to save before this puzzle. If I don't get it right the first time, fuck it, I'm pulling up an FAQ. explanation seems easier, but... Okay. Some cloud. That. That. And that. Uh-oh. Nope. You feel the sand beneath you starting to suck at your feet. To the FAQs. Sucked in again, ground. And hopefully the one I had up will still be up. Find a specific section. Earth gem of water, I got that. Death gem of earth, did that. We are on. Find the damsel in distress. Alright, now for our two set lines. Second mutation. Let's reach them and go back to our way. Okay. So, the correct answer, which I have absolutely, totally come on to the solution myself without consulting an FAQ, is... Wait, wait for it. Suspense holding. The one I hit the cloud. And... The sun. Taking me a long time to think of this. Alright, water drop and the mountain. You do not know yet if you can leave this place. You'd better see to that problem first. Oh. Well, damn. So we need to Find a coconut. Where 
Where can we find coconuts? Got any crows around here? Was that the bird they were using? Oh, no. Sparrow. The uh, Monty Python fans are going to kill me. Especially since I use the um, American English pronunciation of their troop. Which, uh, well, deal with it. You see that some coconuts have grown at the top of the tree. Cool. You need some. You can't reach the coconut. Hmm. We want us to chop it down. Brandishing your sword might make you appear. No, Graham. We're going to go tree climbing. I'm sorry to say. Smaller palm trees aren't really tall enough to be worth climbing, and there is nothing in them that you'll need. I need a coconut. You can't reach the. The two smaller. The two. There we go. You remove an ample sized coconut from the bunch growing in the treetop. Okay. So we have a whole coconut, and we need a half coconut. So let's just cut that bitch. Using the sharp blade of your sword, you slice the coconut clean in half. And we apparently need to put water in our coconut. Um, I hope this order works. You fill the half coconut with briny water from the magenta sea. Okay, what did this say furthermore? Swirling again. In place of the poem appears yet another portal. Hmm. Wow, my keyboard must be breaking. It's going to be put to sea in the coconut, but. Close enough. Well, let's see where this portal takes us. Maybe let's take us all the way up to the top of the stairs. You've exited the strange world. With no way of returning, you can kiss your fair lady goodbye. And even that is now impossible. Can I, yeah. If you ever notice, there are two different death note like songs. The serious deaths kind of end with a gloomy note, but the silly deaths like this one have a little chipper note in them. I'm pretty sure that was also in King's Quest 1, I just not pointed out. King's Quest 3 will actually be pretty funny because their one for silly death is part of the Inspector Gadget theme. So, let's go do this correctly. I don't know the lyrics to that song, but we'll hear it in King's Quest 6, I promise. But, you are pleased. You're adventuring. I, but I, I solved it. You can't remove the. No, you're going to do this to me, aren't you? 
was it again? Carlson. Water drop and mountain. The door. The door. Hey. Thank you, door. Uh, windy staircases. <sighs> what if we have a kind that can kill you? That would be pretty cool. No, no, Graham. You want to fall. Commit suicide. Give me a Wilhelm scream or something. Oh god, this is the most boring spiral tower in any King's Quest game. Oh, hey, hey there, photorealistic lion. This is the biggest lion you have ever seen. He can eat you with two bites of his powerful jaws. His tail thumps repeatedly on the floor. Um. What do we have? I wonder. We need like this lime. Distancing yourself from the lion as much as possible. You hold the emerald in such a way that the window's light passes through it and shines to the Whoa. Get some clothes on, man. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate what you just did for me. You are welcome. Who are you? One time I was Agatha's suitor when we were both much younger. <laughs> Believe it or not, she was quite attractive in her day. Hmm. But during the course of our relationship, I fell in love with another woman. In that jealous rage, Agatha transformed me into a to guard this door for the rest of my life. I have seen, or rather heard, many a pretty damsel spend the last of her days inside that room. Incidentally, I presume you have found the exit from this strange island? Yes, but... Then I shall bid you farewell. It is awfully drafty in here. Strange, I didn't notice that when I was covered in cat hair. Cat hair, eh? Hmm. Well, let's take the cat hair. The quartz towel. You scoop the tuft of orange fur. The heavy wooden door. It... You knock lightly on the door. However, there is no response. You lift the heavy wooden beam that holds the doors in place. All right, so we look around here. A battered dresser sits to one side of the room. A battered oh. dresser sits to one side of the room. Its once beautiful mirror is half shattered, and the frame is warped and covered with nicks and scratches. Okay, so who is this? She is even more lovely than she appeared in the magic mirror. She sleeps soundly and shows no signs of stirring at her presence. You feel as if you could watch her like this for an eternity. Stalker. Well, there's only one thing we can do to sleeping girls. Not that. Let's see. Kissy kissy. Um, seem to remember you something. Concentrate on waking the sleeping woman before rummaging through this old dresser. I want to do that. Unfortunately, it only seems like a fairy tale. The maiden doesn't respond to your kiss. 
Her sleep appears to be somewhat deeper than usual. You suspect a magical influence. Hmm. You softly say some words to the girl, but she does not show any sign of responding. Uh, do we have anything cool in our inventory? Um. Oh, maybe she didn't chant it. As you hold the emerald over the girl, you realize that the light from the window does not penetrate this part of the room. Hmm. A battered dress. Very good, Graham. You hold the emerald between the ray of light and the sleeping maiden. At first, nothing happens. Then she stirs. The radiant light streams through the emerald and dispels the sleeping enchantment instantly. Hello, Graham. Hello. Uh, I think you have me at a disadvantage, my lady. Oh, of course. My name is Valenice. I've been watching you. Watching me? But how? In my sleep, from the moment you arrived in Korea. The lines in the sand. Those were your words? This is a strange place, filled with much strong magic. Once you arrived, I discovered a way to communicate to you from my sleep. I hope you found my words to be of some aid. Indeed I did, Malay. My heart was warmed greatly when you expressed your longing to see me. I have come to learn a great deal about you, Graham. Of your nobility and bravery. I know why you came here, and how truly deep your feelings are for me. I want you to know that I have come to feel the same way for you. You just met! Something about the way she looks at you speaks a thousand words. She loves you, Graham. She really loves you. Let's see right here. Were you listening? She says she feels this. Even if this is a dream, this moment could not be better. Now, isn't this nice? I hope you're enjoying each other's company, since you won't be doing a great deal else for much longer. The door! Why you... Which? I'm sure it would have rhymed. Silence! Pitch? I not be so spoken to by the likes of you. Why do you despise her? What has Valenice ever done to you? She has the attention of men all over the land. Attention! Called plastic surgery. I think you should just allow the two of us to go. <laughs> and why would I want to do that? You would leave your realm together, never to return. Then you would have all the attention you could ever want again. Hmm. Nice try, my pretty fly. But you are caught in my web now. And besides, the father does not want you returning. Interrupting his search. The father? Is he one of your male admirers? <laughs> you think that the father is one of my, my admirers? <laughs> you silly, silly boy. How naive you are. Not to even realize that the man in charge of your own army is the man who wishes you destroyed. Yeah. Let's see what happens, cause I think I know what happens here, but um, if I'm wrong, yeah, we'll just keep it like that. This is why I mean my start to go a little out of it. So we will be ending soon. Uh, we want to give the life potion to her. I have 
something that might interest you. A youth potion. Brewed from a nightingale, I guess. You have it? Well, don't just stand there, you foolish boy. Give it to me. Yes. Yes. This is it. I thought I'd never see it again. At last, I have the finished head potion in my hand. You should be nicer to us now. Look at me. I am so beautiful. Kinda cute, I guess. And now we're dead. Guess the youth potion only works skin deep. Nope. I do believe that is a good time to end the episode. I am failure and going to bed. Have a good night.